It had been 400 years of silence. Prophecies have come to pass, but the people on earth have turned many ways and forgotten about a promise made many, many years ago. The promise of something mighty and life-altering that would come in the form of something small and seemingly insignificant. The people waited, and heaven was stirring up as the time drew near for the small but yet great promise that would soon come to pass. Let's see what's happening up in the Guys, we need to meet right now. Why are we meeting? We need a plan. God's kids need our help. Yeah, they're so bad. What about a magnificent and mighty king? Or I can go down there and hold it be nice. Yeah, put them in the timeout. Maybe an earthquake or flood lake before. I think we should ask God. What's going on here? We want to help your kids. We want to send a cane or a wonderful sign. Or tell them to be, stop being bad. But we have already tried that. It doesn't work. I have an idea. Um, what is it, Lord? I want to send a baby. A, a baby? baby? What's a baby gonna do? A baby can't rescue anybody. It isn't just any baby. Who could it possibly be? I don't know any babies. Me either. He will be my son. Your, your son. son? I love your plan, God. It's so smart. How is this going to work? This is so confused. I'm going to choose a girl named Mary to be pregnant and have my son. She will birth him in a manger. A, a manger? manger? Your son needs to be born in a palace, not a stinky, dirty manger. He will come as a humble baby. And yes, born in a manger. He's not going to sit on a royal throne. He is going to save the world from all of its darkness. Take on all of their sins so then they can once again have a relationship with me. I love them so much and I so badly want to have a relationship with them again. God, we trust that your ways are better than ours. What can we do to help make this happen? I need someone to tell Mary and Joseph my plan for them. Oh, pick me, pick me, me! Gabriel, because you have been most faithful, I want you to speak with Mary and Joseph. Thank you so much, Lord. I will not let you down. Wait, Lord, can the rest of us please sing for baby Jesus? Yes, I suppose you can sing, but only for the shepherds. God, you think we can also be, send a beast or I love being perfectly hard. Yes, we will send a big star for the wise men so that, so that they can find Jesus. All right, we better get started. This world needs baby Jesus. Mary, you have found favor in the Lord's eyes. He will be with you. Uh, okay. Do not be afraid. You have found favor with God. You will become pregnant and have birth to a son, and he will be named Jesus. How can this be? I'm not married. The Holy Spirit will come along you, and through God's power, this child will be called the Son of God. Nothing is impossible for God. I'm the Lord's servant. Let this all come to pass. Joseph, I have, I have great news for you. I am pregnant with God's son, and we will call him Jesus. Isn't this amazing? Are you kidding me? Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for by the Holy Spirit, she has become pregnant with the Son of God. I must go see Mary. This really is amazing news. I'm tired. I don't like walking. I'm tired too, but we got this. We are almost in Bethlehem. Let's go see if we can find a place to stay. Hello, who are you? My wife Mary and I need a place to stay. She is about to give birth. Any chance you got a spare room? Absolutely not. There's no room.
Hello, we are in dire need to a place to stay. My wife needs a... Hey, honey. <laughs> no vacancy. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Lord, please for provide us a place to sleep. Hello, sir. How my nice is this lovely couple? Sir, we really need a place to stay. My wife is very pregnant. Is there any way you can help? I have no room in my house, but I have a stable. I'm so sorry. That is all I have. That is perfect. Thank you so much for your kindness. Guys, it's time for us to sing to the shepherds. Come on, let's go. <laughs> ah! Fear not, I have I bring good news for everyone. Today in Bethlehem a Savior is born. He is the Messiah. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in claws and lying in a manger. Glory God in the highest. Let's go to Bethlehem, guys. I'm in! That angel is so cool. Count me in too. Guys, we can go to Star in the Sky now. I'm on it. Whoa, dudes. You see that gnarly star in the sky? Whoa, that's crazy. So we like following or something? I don't know, man. Then we could go where you want. Dudes, I think you, I think we gotta check it out. Let's get out. Wait, I think this star is big, means something bigger. Maybe we should grab some bit gifts. Great idea, man. I'll grab the gold, frankincense, and uh, this is so rad. I come to you with the gift of, gift of gold. Gold has the spiritual meaning on angel on oh. Jesus, I come to you with the gift of frankincense. Frankincense has the spiritual meaning of deity, for Jesus is divine and the one and only God. Lord, I come to you to a gift for small. Myrrh has the spiritual meaning of death. This gift was a foreshadowing of pain and suffering that this baby would become a man who one day would suffer. He would take on the sin of the world and die on the cross for you and, and I so that we could once again have relationship with the one who made us, created us, and loves us, us so much more than we could ever understand. For Christmas is not about the gifts or the trees or the food, but about the gift of a savior who came in form of a baby who would one day bear our sins and restore the relationship between God and you. 